Hello PlayStation fans! We asked you which PS1 game you think deserves a remake. A few responses later, and we've added up the likes of each suggestion to create this here top 10. Developers, take note. Joel suggested perhaps the most divisive Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VIII, it offers a unique storyline and user experience. Richard also suggested this epic. The scale of the game was limited by the PS1 hardware. The world could be expanded with many more NPCs and locations. Imagine the GF's animations and duels with Cypher. Mouthwatering. Once they finish padding out the Final Fantasy VII remake into 10 games or so, perhaps they could give Squall & Co similar treatment. We like to think the video we made on this recently influenced Ashley's suggestion. It was three games in one, basically. Die Hard was a third-person shooter set in Nakatomi. Die Hard 2 was a first-person shooter in and around the airport and Die Hard 3 was driving the taxi around New York in a race against the clock. The Die Hard 3 levels actually had objectives, we just used to run people over. I'm absolutely fine, I think. Leon suggested a game in which Rick Mayall voices a pig. Hogs of War, I used to spend hours playing it with the family. Many of the replies to Leon's post ended up being suggestions as to who could replace Rick Mail as the game's narrator. I'd be open to the idea of Greg Davis giving it a go. Yes, Mark! Who's got Greg's number? Tell him a PlayStation Nostalgia Facebook page wants a word. I'm sure he'll respond. Marek got in touch to suggest one of the greatest games ever. Tekken 3 is special and has the best gameplay in the series. Simple. People, however, were very weary of this classic getting a modern day gaming treatment. Phil warned, there is no way a remake made today would work. Characters will be paid to unlock, not play to unlock, like how it should be. We also loved Nathan's reply. I'd be on board, purely because there's a good chance my boy Gon would be back. As Phil said though, Gon would probably cost mega bucks via a DLC these days. People would be annihilating you online with his overpowered fart attacks. <laughs> Liam suggested the game adaption of perhaps Pixar's finest moment. Toy Story 2, one of my favourite games. The gameplay and exploration part was fun and seeing the world from a toy's point of view was always nice. I'd love a Toy Story 2 remake to help me forget about Toy Story 4. Woody becomes an organ donor and then leaves all of his friends? What the hell Pixar? I cried for f***ing hours. <laughs> Fern next put forward a game that she didn't even own. Hercules! I only ever had the demo of a game, but I must have played it a hundred times. I would, for sure, play it now if it was remade. The replies to this suggestion were mostly about how lots of you never purchased any games. However, we did love Daisy's reply. Did anyone else think they made a movie based on the game too, or was that just me? I wasn't a smart kid, okay? In fairness to Daisy, the game did come out before the movie. A week before. Zachariah suggested Dino Crisis, the game that got me into the horror genre. Everything about it was fantastic, especially the sound and the lighting, which had a significant impact on successfully creating fear and tension. Fans are actually creating a remake that looks great. However, Afonso speaks the truth. Dino Crisis deserves the same remake treatment that Resident Evil 2 got. Come on Capcom, 
The people have spoken. Matt suggested one of the best looking PS1 games ever. Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. The world, characters, soundtrack and story were all fantastic and cutting edge for their day. Seeing it remade for the PS5 would be incredible. They actually ended up cutting about a third of the game due to time constraints, and so a remake could incorporate many of their original ideas. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. Adam suggested a game with this pixelated naked man. Weirdo. Metal Gear Solid, the original. With today's technology, it would definitely be a contender for game of the year. Ollie agreed. There was a glimpse of it being redone in MGS4, but with the fantastic gameplay of MGS5, with possibly the most groundbreaking story of all time, it would be amazing. Konami, if you're listening. Just before we reveal number one, a quick honourable mention has to go to John's suggestion but narrowly missed out on the top 10. Sheep, Dog and Wolf, a massively overlooked title late in the PlayStation's life cycle. A well put together, enjoyable game that blends stealth and ACME humour. Well said John. <laughs> But now, it's time for the big reveal. Which PS1 game does our little community think should definitely get a modern day remake? And in first place with over 1200 likes is Siphon Filter. This was suggested by Michael who wrote, it was quite underrated from what I remember, but it was a very entertaining game that I could barely put down. Many of you loved the taser, including Chad, who says, I always loved shooting someone with the taser and holding it until they burst into flames. And Dan said, I'd like to see high definition taser fires. We pray that neither Dan or Chad pursued a career in law enforcement. The last siphon filter was released in 2007, so a new game is long overdue. Include the taser and we think it'll be like printing money. Let us know which PS1 game you think deserves a remake in the comments below. And thanks for watching. What the hell? For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. Cheers! You win.